What's up, everyone? I'm Thaddeus Bullard, a.k.a. WWE superstar Titus O'Neil, coming at you live from the Hall of Justice. Now, we've got Batman here tonight. We've got Flash just ran through here a little bit early, and if I'm not mistaken, Superman may even make an appearance tonight. So, well, I, Superman may not make an appearance because I hear he's a bit of a diva, but we do have a lot in store for you tonight. We are here at the Hall of Justice. The one located here at the nonprofit law firm, Bay Area Legal Services, right here in Ybor City. Thank you for joining us tonight as we launch the new campaign for Bay Area Legal Services, Justice Works. We have a lot in store for you tonight. We've got raffles, a live illustrator, some beautiful stories to tell, and some exciting announcements to come. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about the campaign itself. Justice works to root out the inequities that keep people in poverty. I believe we may have some lawyers in the audience tonight. Actually, I know we have some lawyers in the audience tonight. And as lawyers out there probably know, not everyone can afford legal representation. And that's where Bay Area Legal Services comes in. They tackle injustices for people in need, people who have no way of dealing with these very scary and very real issues on their own. Now, if you're joining me, I have a feeling you believe in this great work, so I thank you for doing your part just being here. We have an exciting hour in store for you, but before we jump in, I want to give a special thanks to our event sponsors. Our Hall of Justice presenting sponsors for tonight are Bank OZK and Mutual America Financial Group. Also, Carey, O'Malley, Whitaker, Mueller, Robertson Smith, PA, Hill Ward Henderson, and Jeff Cox. Thanks to their generosity for helping Bay Area Legal Services kick off the Justice Works campaign. Justice Works is a first all-inclusive campaign for Bay Area Legal. That means if you donate tonight to Bay Area Legal programs in any capacity, you're supporting the campaign. But to get on this shiny wall back here, all you guys have to do is make a pledge of what we're calling the Justice Works Pledge. A three-year pledge at one of the giving levels on your screen will give you, get your name featured on the Hall of Justice. Barry Illegal will feature these special donors for the next three years as a show of appreciation for lifting up their clients in need. Now, as you consider making a pledge tonight, let me remind you about what Bay Area does for our community. Their work includes, but not limited to, defends seniors from scam artists, keeps struggling families in their homes, protects survivors of domestic violence from their abusers, stands up for kids in foster care, helps military veterans to get the benefits they were promised, and so much more. So what does justice look like? We have an on-site illustrator who will capture that image tonight during his live illustration. Jonathan has completed more than 1,000 live illustrations. His artwork captures the purpose and essence of live collaborations. I believe he's getting started right now, so let's get over to him right now. Hey, thanks, Titus. You know, with all this talk about Batman and Superman and the halls of justice, I think that's a great theme to start this illustration with. Um, because that's, uh, that's basically what uh, Bay Area Legal is all about, is helping those who are in need, and they're kind of like that Superman out there. And uh, so anyway, we started with a, a scene here. Um, we're inspired by the idea of uh, that Bay Area Legal helps struggling families to stay in their home. So here we've got this uh, superhero that's... Uh, Looks like they're, 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 they're lifting up the home, but they're, they're actually protecting the home and helping to, to keep this family in the home. And uh, so we're going to keep that theme going uh, throughout the evening here. So back to you, sir. Looks awesome, man. We'll check back in with you, Jonathan, in a bit to see how things go are going. We also have a, have a very special incentive for those of you who plan on giving tonight. The top five donors this evening will receive a framed print of Jonathan's work and anyone who pledges at least $1,000 towards the campaign will also receive a print. I can't wait to see the final artwork. 
So justice, what would we do without it? What could we achieve with more of it? The video I'm about to show you asks these very important questions. If you're going to be a lawyer and just practice your profession, well, you have a skill, so you're very much like a plumber. But if you want to be a true professional, you will do something outside yourself, something to repair tears in your community, something to make life a little better for people less fortunate. Team investigator Jackie Calloway uncovers that hasn't stopped some local landlords from trying to kick tenants to the curb. And that includes one family who received a very troubling eviction notice. Watching that video, I can only imagine what we could accomplish by filling that wall behind me with your names. Now, creating pathways to justice and the words on the blocks, fairness, opportunity, hope, and justice. For every $25,000 we raise tonight, I'll be peeling off one of these plastic covers and revealing the photo of someone whose life was changed by this nonprofit. Our goal is to raise $100,000 for Bay Area Legal Services tonight. And all I want these pictures revealed by the, excuse me, can I help you? I've been carrying you on my back <laughs> ever since freshman year in college. And I must say, I'm here to do it again. Oh, man. Here's my good friend, my college roommate. I used to beat him up a lot. Uh, he did used to carry me on his back a little bit academically because he is a, a bit of a smart guy. Uh, Johanse Pettis, who's the incoming board chair at Bay Area Legal, and my best friend, my fraternity brother, etc. The list goes on and on. And he's going to help us get to our goal and give us updates about our goal tonight. All right. So I'd like to help top our $100,000 goal. You can leave. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to help us reach $100,000, and that is my, why my foundation, the Bullard Family Foundation, will be matching the first $25,000 raised, dollar for dollar. We also have some very exciting raffle prizes sponsored by Bake, OZK, and if you haven't already purchased a raffle ticket, there's still time to enter. For the next 10 minutes, we will keep the raffle entry button live, which was located on the web page. Basket number one. Come on, man, you're supposed to be helping me out. Where the baskets at? Come on, <laughs> chop, chop, the baskets, baskets, baskets. I can't tell the people how, what's going on with the baskets. Come on, I've been carrying you on my back the whole time. We have a basket number one. It's a basket from Health Mutt, and it's full of gear of gifts for all you pet lovers out there. 
Basket number two. Hurry up. Let's go. Chop, chop, Johanse Pettis. Roll. Let's go. Let's go. We're trying to raise money here. We're trying to help people in need. We need your help. We can't be on this raffle all day. Raffle, raffle basket number two is a basket from Rustic Steel Creations with a creative class for two. Y'all might not win this one because I'm very interested in doing something like this myself. I just got to figure out who, which one of my sons is going to join me because I have two. But you have an opportunity. Go hit the donate button. Figure out if you want this raffle item to be yours before I get it. Let me make sure I log in. Here, give my phone, make sure I log in. All right. Now it's time to roll into our next segment. You may be aware that Bay Area Legal has several teams that specialize in legal issues that affect special popula populations like seniors, foster children, and families. One of the newest teams at Bay Area Legal is catered to our military veterans. That leads us to the next segment in the program. Let's hear about what legal aid can do for our veterans. Each year, nearly 200,000 service members transition from the military back to their civilian communities. All come back heroes, but many return with health problems and face major difficulties transitioning. The spiral continues. Physical and mental health ailments create employment, housing, and financial barriers for our veterans. Issues that can only be solved with the help of a professional we don't often think of, a lawyer. Medical legal partnerships are designed to offer a more holistic approach to care. Um, the healthcare providers and the psychological health providers can refer clients to the medical legal partnership so that they can get their legal needs addressed, which helps with overall health. Rob is an Army veteran that I met when he was referred to us by his caseworker. And without that link, I don't think that he would have gotten the help that he really, really needed. At the time, he had to stop working and due to health reasons. And he had drained all of his savings and he was actually facing eviction for non-payment of rent. He does suffer from both uh, physical and mental health issues, including post-traumatic stress. And he actually told me the first time that we met that he was considered high risk for suicide and he was undergoing extensive psychological counseling at the VA hospital at the time. So I knew that he was very close to the edge. Justice works to root out the inequities that keep people in poverty. In fact, five of the top 10 issues that lead to homelessness among veterans can only be solved with legal assistance. Ultimately, Rob and his three border colleagues were able to remain housed and the eviction was closed. Without the help of our community partners and without our intervention, I don't think that he would have been able to achieve this result. And Rob really could have been another veteran suicide statistic. Attorneys like Alex are providing justice to our veteran heroes every day, but there are so many more that need our help. Our veterans are still underserved. Over 85% of low-income veterans and military personnel receive inadequate or no professional legal help for their civil legal problems. Join the fight to combat veteran homelessness and poverty today. Show our veterans that justice can work for them. I guess that's a bell, uh, meaning something. I don't know. Maybe let's roll to the thermometer or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Looks like we got a little bit of the money. Come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Forget it. Guys, boom, boom, boom. I'm going to be a judge, too. And a gavel. And obviously, I'm used to doing a quick change in outfits. Uh, 
being a WWE superstar, don't, not used to having assistants uh, put on uh, my gear and uh, trying to give this guy a job. But nonetheless, the bell rang because we now have our first goal of $25,000 and... Once again, oh. once again. Yeah, yeah, you, let's, yeah. Let's see what you uh, come on now. That, that, <laughs> they, you might as well do something. You ain't have. You ain't, you ain't, there you go. There you go, son. There you go, son. Say, go, 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 go. Like, uh, so by the time he get done peeling that off, I'm not tall uh, enough. We'll be done. Huh? I'm not tall enough. I'll, oh, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Ah, ah, ah. I've been helping this guy for the longest, man. I thought you've been working out. You know, clearly that ain't been the case. It's a pandemic. Orange Theory's closed. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. Well, we have reached our first. We're over $25,000. And as you all see this picture revealed, this is our U.S. Army veteran, Rob Robinson. Uh, and just to give everybody an update on Rob, and many of you, many of our uh, Bay Area Legal Service supporters have certainly seen his story. Rob is now starting his own nonprofit to support other veterans in need by promoting active lifestyles with their pets. Way to go, Rob, and we really appreciate all of you all's support. Okay, we we'll want to you. give a thank you. Hold on, hold on. We got to thank you. We got our, more good news? Yeah, more good news. All right, well, more we, good we, news. Get, get more. I like good news. I like get the good news. <laughs> Rob, can, can keep it going. Keep doing your thing, man. Proud of you. Proud of the work that Bay Area Legal did to get you into the position that you're in right now that you can help so many other veterans also reach their goals of helping become more self-sufficient and impactful in our community. Now, now what's the other news? Now that we've Come on, raised over $25,000, we've unlocked yet one more match gift opportunity from Craig Rothberg, who is our incoming chair on Bay Area Legal Services Development Craig. Council. Craig, Craig, what Craig, Craig will do? What Craig, Craig do? will be matching the next $5,000 for donations of $100 or more this evening. That's right. If you were filling out your pledge when the Bullard Families Foundation's match ended, you can still make double the impact okay. while this match lasts. All right. And for those who helped us get over this first $25,000 mark, we want to thank Catherine Giannis, Tom Touchton, of course, the wonderful Dick and Kathy Waltman, okay. yeah, and Craig Dick. Walthberg. Yeah, and and we also want to thank Ros uh, Rosalie Sims, thank you all so much. Man, this thing is hot. For y'all <laughs> lawyers out there that want to be judges, boy, this thing is hot. Give me a napkin, son. <laughs> so get, get to your job. <laughs> awesome, awesome beginning to where we are right now. Let me. I feel like I'm preaching right now tonight. Let me let me dust this off. All right. But on, in all seriousness, just let that sink in for a second. More than 85% of our low-income veterans and military personnel receive inadequate or no professional legal help for their civil needs. We can do better for our veterans today, and we will. $1,000 annually, or $84 monthly, can help a veteran receive necessary benefits they were promised. Those who pledge $1,000 for the next three years will be recognized as a patron on our Hall of Justice. You can designate your gift to help our veterans by selecting the Veterans Programs button on the donate form. While you're setting up your pledge, let's see how we're doing. Yo, Hansei. Yes, sir. How we doing? We're at over 40,000. We're oh, getting close. We're at over 40,000. Okay, okay. Let's check in with Jonathan and see what he got going on with his justice drawing. Okay. All right. So, uh, anyway, we've drawn another superhero uh, over on the left-hand side of the visual here. Uh, he's got a shield, and uh, he's, he's, we'll call him Protector. Uh, and basically what he represents is he's protecting survivors of domestic abuse from their abusers. And that's one of the great things about Bay Area Legal Services is they, uh, they provide that uh, to, uh, to so many people who are in need of that. So uh, anyway, we're just going to keep going here. We're, I think we're on a roll, and uh, we've got a few other things that we want to draw and put in the drawing. So uh, anyway, back to you. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about why I'm here today and why I care about the mission here at Bay Area Legal Services. I was a product of a sexual assault. 
or I am a product of a sexual assault. My mother was raped at the age of 11 and had me at the age of 12 against the wishes of many. I grew up poor and in spirit, poor financially, and told that I'll be a kid that would be dead or in jail by the time I was 16 years old, and I believed that for a greater part of my young adult life. I got a chance to go to a place called the Florida Sheriff's Boys Ranch, and it was there that my life changed forever. With a conversation and with all the import, input of resources and love that I received, I was able to go from that kid that was labeled a kid that would be dead or in jail by the time I was 16 to becoming a man that would be a first-time high school graduate of my family, the first college graduate of my family. And I did graduate from the greatest university in the world, the University of Florida. And, and those things helped set the foundation for me to help break generational curses. And ever since my childhood, I've always wanted to continue that process, continue imparting the love and the dignity that people imparted in me when they did, had nothing to gain in return. And so I focused my efforts over in East Tampa uh, and around the globe, but specifically here in Tampa at Sly Middle Magic, Ma Magnet School, which is where Bay Area Legal will be partnering with me over the next three years with this Justice Works campaign to help those struggling families in need in that area. The zip code 33610 is the sixth highest zip code for children living in poverty in the state of Florida. Our goal is to decrease that dramatically by 2028. We need your help, and we need your help now to make, help move the needle, because I know for a fact there are plenty of people out there in worse or the same situations that I was in as a youth. There are mothers out there, there are kids in foster care, there are veterans out there that need help, just that one extra boost. And I am proud to partner with Bay Area Legal uh, Services to help continue to move the needle for those in need. Now behind this next sticker is a photo of more people supported by Bay Area Legal. I'd like to reveal this beautiful family portrait with the help of supporters like you. <clears throat> As I've said before, empowered people create stronger communities, keeping a struggling family together and support it starts with providing essential community resources. In the state of Florida, approximately 231,000 children live with relatives that are not their parents for various reasons, from drug addiction to abuse, neglect, or even death. These children are left to grow up without their parents. However, the relatives who step up to take in these children never hesitate to do so. Very Legal Services is depending on your help to support sisters like Tanya and Tasha Parker, who were just 21 and 23 years old when their mother suddenly passed away, leaving them to navigate early adulthood without their matriarch and mentor. Not only did this loss shake up everything they knew, but it also left their younger siblings without a caregiver. Despite their young age, career goals, and financial stress, the sisters didn't think twice about stepping up to become the head of the family. Tanya and Tasha knew they were the only hope to make bright futures for their young brothers and sisters. However, they did not have the legal custody they needed to care for the kids, and they definitely didn't have the means to hire an attorney. Tanya and Tasha were referred to Bay Area Legal Services where they met an attorney. The sisters were helped to become proud legal custodians the custodians of their siblings. The attorney also provided them with necessary assistance and referrals they needed to take on this responsibility. Fortunately, this family was able to stay together and let's help more families like the Parkers and get all the photos unveiled before the end of the night. $500 annually or $42 a month can help a grandparent obtain custody of their grandchild to provide needed care and stability. I know Bay Area Legal has many loyal supporters who give annually. If that's you, we encourage you to make the gift of a three-year pledge for Justice Works to get your name on this wall. If you usually give $350 annually, consider increasing it to $500 for the next three years. Every gift can make an impact. If $500 helps one relative, caregiver, and their family, think of how many futures we can impact with the hope by revealing this next photo. I know you may need a few minutes to set up your pledge or make a gift online, so I promise it's convenient and easy 
but there's nothing better than the feeling you get knowing that you are standing for justice. While I, what, oh, whoa, 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 sounds like we done hit another milestone. Bring me my robe, let me change into a justice warrior, let me change into a man that's about to announce a big, 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 big donation and another milestone. Here we go, here we go. Come on, son, you got, you're getting a lot better at this. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Opportunity being revealed. Come on, son, we just practiced. We went through this whole thing. You still need help? Look at you. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right, as you all can see, we have eclipsed our $50,000 mark. And as we've heard about the Parker family, we just shared the story of this beautiful family that Bay Area Illegal helped, thanks to partnerships like like you all we would like to thank those who have continued to help us to reach this fifty thousand dollar mark like alex sink heather degrave jacqueline sims uh, uh Pedritus, corey person gwen young and david knight we so thank you all for helping us to reveal this photo thank you all for helping i know us the names just mark. came in so he might have butchered them a little bit but we'll work on that we're working on yeah we're working on that i just you got excited <laughs> i'll just chalk it off again get, get my robe get my robe now be a good get be a good get be a good person now you know you wanted to help here you go get my gavel get my gavel there we go good job Now that so many of you are continuing to stand for justice, I want to give you more time to continue doing so. So while I give you time to do that, let's pull our first raffle. Again, we're raffling off a pet. We're raffling. We're, I need my basket. I need my basket and my, and my, and my numbers. There we go. They would, oh, come on. Boy, it's hard to get good help these days. <laughs> the pet basket sponsored by Bank OZK is, congratulations to, oh my goodness, Frazier Himes. This is uh, very ironic, and uh, I'll say about it later, but Frazier, congratulations, man. Thank you so much, uh, and thank you for all you did for me years ago. I will never, ever forget it, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously. And I did not rig that. I, this, this is uh, pretty awesome. Here, man. You, you, come on. Come on. Make yourself useful. Make yourself useful. All right. We'll get in touch with you, Frazier, offline to make sure that you get your basket. Now let's go back to our live illustrator, Jonathan Massey. Okay. Um, you know, Titus, I was about to draw my third superhero, uh, and I just realized as I was drawing this uh, military gentleman, they are superheroes. And uh, so no need for a cape, no need for special effects. Uh, we just wanted to, to give a visual to, uh, to our military heroes and what Bay Area does for them. Uh, they help military veterans uh, get the benefits they deserve, and uh, that is uh, so inspiring. So I just wanted to make sure that that is uh, front and center with, uh, with what we've uh, shown here tonight. And uh, I think we've got a couple more scenes that we want to work into uh, our visual, but, uh, but that was one of the highlights so far. So anyway, back to you, Titus. Now, as we all know, this past year has been very challenging, and we will have more challenges to come. The pandemic has affected all of us, and low-income communities have been hit the hardest. I want you to think about that family whose income has been severed, the senior whose health and security are more at risk than ever, and the person in an abusive relationship who has never felt so trapped in their entire life in their home. This next video is about what Bay Area Legal continues to do even in the face of adversity during this pandemic.
2020 has certainly been an unpredictable and challenging year for just about everyone. However, for the communities that we serve, marginalized and low income people, the pandemic has truly had a great impact on them and left a severe economic toll, some of the effects still yet to be seen. Family incomes have been severed, which has now caused an eviction epidemic and crisis unlike anything we have ever seen before. Homelessness in our near future. 2.5 million children are now living in poverty. Reports of domestic violence have surged, making it now so many of the clients we serve, it's not necessarily safer to stay at home. U.S. military veterans are seeking access to their much needed benefits, however, are concerned with the risks that they may take by visiting their local VA hospital. Many seniors have had to isolate from loved ones and now are more at risk of abuse, exploitation, and fraud. Many of these issues can only be resolved with the assistance of an attorney. At Bay Area Legal Services, our advocates have been working diligently to meet the legal needs of our community and especially to provide relief to those whose legal problems have worsened by this pandemic. We have been providing services for our clients via Zoom and over the phone to ensure the safety of our staff, our volunteers, and our clients. During this time, Bay Area has also taken on several initiatives to provide the public with the critical answers that they are needing responses to. We are collaborating on projects such as our FACE program, Florida Attorneys Counseling on Evictions. This is a collaborative effort between Bay Area Legal Services, pro bono attorneys, and other partners in order to adequately address the eviction crisis that is taking place in the Tampa Bay area. We also have created a one-stop COVID-19 resources site on our Bay Area Legal Services website. This information not only provides basic legal advice and counsel on substantive law issues, but also serves as a valuable resource portal for our clients and the community as a whole. We have seen so many life-changing results in this past year, proving that justice works. With the help of individuals like you, we can create more pathways to justice. No one says it better than our own clients that we serve on a daily basis. Justice works. Sorry guys, it's, it's, it is hot in here. It's, it's very hot. Uh, and it's about yeah, to get hotter because I got to put this, put some this robe on. on. You know, I'm doing everything I can in the name of charity, guys. I'm going oh, to be oh, butt oh. naked by the end, but we got another pledge that drives us up to $99,397. Uh, and Johansson is going to give us a breakdown. Uh, first, he's going to take this thing off. Can you do it by yourself this time, man? It you is hot. Y'all been overworking me. I'm gonna get, I'm, I need uh, extra pay with food. Make sure I got double, two sandwiches, two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, gluten-free bread. Come on, son. You got to move faster it wasn't than perfect. that, huh? It wasn't perfect. This is horrible. Now y'all can All right, see guys. why you fight this guy. As you can see, we were supposed to unveil this at the $75,000 mark, but thanks to all of you uh, out there, we are well past that. As you can see, we've unveiled our third picture. William Murray, Bay Area legal representative Bill Murray, so he can maintain his housing. You got a little grease on you, man. You got on my jacket. Your, your, your sweat. <laughs> maintain his housing when his landlord threatened to unlawfully, unlawfully evict him. Keep telling we them do that want they, to. Don't we want to do. See the back of your head. Come on, look. Y'all see this? Nobody want to see the back of that, man. Nobody want to see the back of that. They want to see your face, man, with the mask and all. Come on, man. Nobody want. Look at that. Nobody want to see that. So anyway, anyway, as you all can see, we, we do want to thank some more of our sponsors, Kathleen Cott, Fraser Himes, in honor of Tom Elegant, Lisa Brody, thank you so much, Scott Stichter, Amanda Uliano, Jeff Cox, Leslie Schultzkin, I want to send a special thank you to Leslie Schultzkin, she's our outgoing board chair. 
did an absolute phenomenal job for Bay Area Legal Services during her term last year in the face of a pandemic. Outstanding. Thank you so much, Leslie, for all of your hard work. And Sarah Lalu Amin, thank you all so much for your contributions. All right, hold this. Take this thing off, man. It's hot up in here. <laughs> Give me some water, please. They're going to call me a diva. They can call me whatever. It's hot up in here. I can't work in these conditions. 99,397 dollars is awesome. Now, as you heard in that video, justice is more important now than ever in these challenging times. If justice is a priority for you and you want to see justice work, now is the time to show it. Your support removes barriers to opportunity, empowers individuals and families, and provides stability that our clients desperately need to thrive in their community. You can be one to help turn things around for a struggling family. A pledge of $2,500 tonight can prevent homelessness for a family. A $5,000 pledge can protect seniors from abuse and exploitation. A commitment of $10,000 can provide life-changing support by sustaining our programs and creating more pathways to justice. Your support at any of these given levels helps Bay Area Legal continue the important work in our community. Make sure that justice works. Let's see how high justice is ringing right now. Yo, Hanse. I need a bell, man. Give me a bell. I like to see a bell. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Now, remind you guys. This is the big one. Bring my robe. Bring my robe. This Come is on. the big one. I remind you guys that, you know, our goal was to reach $100,000. And right now, we are at $102,897. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we still got time. We still got time to raise some more money now. Let's go, let's go. We got to get Johanse, all right, this is your last, this is the last one now. Come on now. Come show on, me come some, on, show come Show me some, show me some growth. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Show me some growth. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's not much growth, but we're going to keep working on it. If anyone out there has a sticker board or anything that Johanse can practice the next time we do this Bay Area Legal uh, fundraiser, I would greatly appreciate you reaching out to Bay Area Legal as he will be the incoming chair hold it, hold it. and uh, he'll have plenty of time within the next year to hopefully learn and work on his uh, sticker uh, removal. Sticker. Can I get some help, please? No, <laughs> you know, I've been helping you the whole time. I've been, you know, this is the last one. <clears throat> Where am I gavel? Right here. here, right, here, here. Maybe this will help. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up, son. Let's go. Let's pick right, it up. Don't, pick don't it up. Maybe pick it put up. you in the ring right pick now. Pick it up, son. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Pick it up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. performs under pressure. <laughs> Almost. And to the family that this picture is being revealed on, I apologize that we were not able to get it sooner uh, or get it revealed sooner. Um, but. Nonetheless, we will be telling your story once Johanse does finally get Absolutely. The, yeah, okay, come on up. And nobody yeah. want to see the back yeah, of your head. Absolutely, on, absolutely it, guys. Got to grow. Listen, we have exceeded uh, our goal for this evening, and we're going to continue. This last photograph is the Paul family. With the help of Bay Area Legal Services, Shirley Paul was able to gain custody of her three grandchildren after their parents were unable to care for them. A similar situation happened. When her other two, with her other two grandchildren that followed a few, le a few years later. And now she's able to care for them with all the help of Bay Area Legal Services. So to help us get over this, over this mark, we want to thank JT Garibrandt, the great Mike and Rochelle Becky. Thank you all so much. Tori Simmons. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Johanse Pettis. Thank you. Karen Cole, Dan Clark, Alex Pallara. Corey Person again, thank you so much. Thank you all so much for helping us reach this milestone. Oh, we keep on going. Look at that. We did that. Let's keep we on going. going. We're we going. We're going. going. All right. All right. Come on. All right. Here, get my rope. Get my rope. There we go. Get my gavel. There we go. Hey. We have come a long way tonight, and you made it all possible. And there's still time. Yeah, there's still time to do even more. Now I have one more special announcement up my sleeve. As I've been told that we've received a Justice Works 
Legend Pledge. Longtime friend of Bay Area Legal, Tom Elegant has made a pledge of $30,000 to the Justice Works campaign. Thank you so much. Tom requested that his pledge be in the honor of Dick Waltzman, Bay Area Legal's CEO and president for more than 40 years. This pledge honors Dick's dedication, service, and leadership in providing access to justice. What an incredible surprise for Dick and for Bay Area Legal. This thoughtful gift will be recognized through the new Richard C. Waltzman Conference Room located at the Ybor City office. Thank you, Tom, for this wonderful contribution to legal aid, more importantly, for your friendship to Bay Area Legal Services. In addition to personal gifts, Bay Area Legal gets significant support from law firms, and they too are committed to making justice work for everyone. Many local law firms participate in the annual sustaining law firm effort where each attorney at the firm contributes at least $350 and special thanks to the law firms listed here. Buell and Elegant, Kynes Markman, Fellman for making their pledge already. And for those firms who usually give, just let Bay Area Legal know that your firm plans to in con on continuing that support for the next three years and you will be listed on our Hall of Justice. We have one last raffle to pull, so let's do that now. Once again, thanks to Bank OZK for providing the raffle items tonight. The second raffle comes from Rustic Creations. You put my name in this basket. And they're providing a creative welding class for two, valued at $500. So without further ado, our second raffle winner for tonight is Amanda Giuliano. Congratulations. We will get in touch with you offline and arrange for a delivery to you. I hope you enjoyed tonight as much as I have, even though it was a little hot, you know, <laughs> but we worked through it. And I hope it's been informative, encouraging, and inspiring as we launch this Justice Works campaign and helping those in need in our community. I once again want to thank our event sponsors for making this all happen and to all of you joining us, helping us to officially launch Justice Works. I don't want to leave without checking in with Jonathan one last time, so hopefully it's complete, he has completed his illustration and we can see the finished product. Over to you. Okay, yes, Titus, we have completed our illustration. Um, to the far right, we've uh, included the scales of justice. Uh, just wanting to illustrate that's what Bay Area Legal makes sure that those uh, clients out there have justice and have fairness brought to them. Uh, I was going to put another hero, but I, I guess he is a hero. Um, this little tyke that's standing on a block here, uh, it illustrates one of the services that, that Bay Area Legal provides, and th they stand up for kids in foster care. That's so important, and uh, I think that's a great way to conclude uh, uh, this evening's drawing. So anyway, it's been a pleasure, and uh, thank you, and, uh, and back to you, Titus. Jonathan, you are a true talent indeed, and I'm amazed at what you were able to do in just one hour, and I cannot wait to see it in full color. Keep in mind, if you were one of our top donors, you made a pledge of, or you made a pledge of $1,000 tonight, we'll mail you a print of Jonathan's illustration. You got one more check-in. Last check-in. This check better in. be good. <laughs> Last check-in, guys. This shit better be good. Let's bring up the thermometer to see where we're at. Whoa, there we go. $106,000, over $106,000 raised. Guys, we want to thank Bill Wagner, Trisha Moody, Betsy Hapner, Britt and Kathy Massing, Carol Moody, Paige Greenlee, thank you so much, Deani Blessing, Susan Sandler, Karen and Bob Busing, Joan Bowles, the Honorable Justice Peggy Quince, thank you so much, Richard and Linda Nielsen, CCS Marketing, and Drew O'Malley. And I also want to just say thank you again, a special thanks to the Bullet Family Foundation and my guy right here, Titus O'Neill, Thaddeus Bullet. We really appreciate it. And just so you all know, for the Bullet Family Foundation's contribution, Thaddeus Bullet now has a conference room dedicated in his name. Yeah. So there, he's now you're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're happy. Yeah, now you're happy. Get punched in the mouth. <laughs> okay. get my wrap, wrap this up. Wrap yeah, this up. I get hit punched in the mouth for, 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 for hitting me in my back like that. 
thank you guys, man, and thank Barry Illegal for that uh, tremendous honor and honoring up me with a, a, a room here in this very special place. Thank you all for allowing me to stream on your device tonight and to show you the meaningful work that Bay Area Legal is providing in our community and how Justice Works campaign will allow them to sustain and expand those life-altering programs. I'm hoping you made a pledge tonight toward the campaign, but if you haven't, there's still time. Visit BALS.org backslash Justice Works for any additional information regarding the campaign and to make your pledge after the stream ends. Have a great evening, everyone. Enjoy your family. Be safe. Wear your mask so we can get past this pandemic and go back to some decency and normalcy. And above all else, love all people. God bless you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.